professor ak pandey sir to guide us about today's program and what this whole program is all about sir i would like to invite you to Yes, sir. Thank you, Sudhira. Very good morning to everyone. Uh, we present in the seminar hall. Uh, respected director, sir. SRT campus, Dr. A. Bhavai, sir. Shri Akhwaji.
novelty and non obviousness <coughs> it provide protection for the invention to the owner of the patent for a limited period of 20 years aur jo ek baar patent ho 20 years tak uski jo hai validity rehti hai dusra hai trademark trademark act jo hai isko hindi mein kehte hain vyapar chit ये एक्ट 1919 में हम केवल ऑब्जेक्टिव के बारे में बता रहे हैं काफी डिटेल आपको जो है अब जो स्पीकर्स हैं वो बताएंगे द ट्रेडमार्क इज अ डिस्टिंक्टिव राइट व्हिच आइडेंटिफाइज सर्टेन गुड्स आर सर्विसेज एज दोस प्रोड्यूस्ड आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय ए स्पेसिफिक पर्सन आर इंटरप्राइज इट मे बी वन आर ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्ड लेटर्स एंड न्यूमरल्स आप देखते होंगे कई जो भी लीगल टर्म डिस्क्राइबिंग राइट गिवेन टू द्रिएटर फॉर देयर लिटरेरी एंड आर्टिस्टिक वर्क तो जो लिटरेरी जैसे कोई लिटरेचर आप देख लिखते हैं या कोई आर्टिकल लिखते हैं उस पर आपकी कॉपी राइट होती है या कोई भी आर्टिस्टिक वर्क द क्रिएटर ऑफ इन सेल्फ द राइट टू देयर वर्क टू इंडिविजुअल आर कंपनी बेस्ट एबल टू मार्केट द वर्क इन द रिटर्न फॉर पेमेंट दीज पेमेंट आर ऑफ एन मेड डिपेंडेंट ऑन द एक्चुअल यूज ऑफ द वर्क एंड आर द रिफर टू द रॉयल्टी मिलती है जैसे जैसे प्रोसेस इसका रजिस्ट्रेशन भी है इस प्रोसेस आपको जब कॉपी राइट आए पर कोई बोल रहा होगा तो पूरा डिटेल में बताएगा फिर नेक्स्ट है जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन जी आई ये जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन डिजाइन एक्ट 2000 2000 में ये एक्ट पास किया गया नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ प्लांट वैरायटीज and farmers right so objective of this act this act was passed in 2001 2001 mein is kanun ko banaya gaya tha the objective of this act is to recognize the role of farmers as cultivator and conservers and the contribution of traditional rural and tribal communities to the country's agro biodiversity by rewarding them for their contribution and to stimulate investment for r&d for the development of new plant varieties to facilitate the growth of the seed industry which will ensure the availability of high quality seeds jo to pad ke seeds hote hain uske liye ye jo hai production of farmers right aur next hai uh, production of bio biological diversity this act was passed in Passed in 2002, 2002. The the Biological Diversity Act covers a traditional knowledge in the preamble itself. It also provides for issues related to the traditional knowledge under the umbrella of the associated knowledge within various provisions of the Biological Diversity Act 2002. Now, uh, in 2016, the The intellectual property right policy was then. It was adopted in 2016. It is a giant leap by the government of India to spur creativity and to stimulate innovation. It lays the road map for the future of IPR in India. So policy is for the next lecture. I have to detail me. So IPR policy. So these are the examples of the intellectual property. Now, uh, I will now come upon the objective of this workshop. This workshop is aimed at having a discussion on the importance of intellectual property in this era of technological advancement and complex globalization. This workshop is designed to provide the students 
with the platform to understand the and deliberate upon the contemporary issues involved in the decoding and understanding of intellectual property. कि स्टूडेंट्स में हम इसे कैसे उनकी जागरूकता पैदा करें उनको कैसे इसका नॉलेज दें कि क्या क्या इंटरव्यू प्रॉपर्टी है और इनके क्या क्या फायदे हैं और क्यों जानना चाहिए ग्लोबलाइज इंफॉर्मेशन इकोनॉमी द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इंटरव्यू प्रॉपर्टी राइट एंड द एसोसिएटेड पॉलिसी क्वेश्चन कैन नॉट बी ओवर स्टेटेड वाई आई टी पॉलिसी डेफिनेटली बी एस सिग्निफिकेंट रेलिवेंस For the corporation and MNC, it also has other significant roles, which are often underemphasized. This workshop shall be aimed at discovery of the multifaceted impact of IPR in human life and the economic development. With the increasing focus on innovation, <coughs> research, and cross-border collaboration, this workshop endeavors. It also aims to sensitize them about the rights of creator and would also develop an culture of respecting the rights of creator. So, this workshop के जरिए हम ये aware करना चाहते हैं कि जो intellectual property के different forms हैं, उनको आप औरों तक कैसे पहुंचा सकते हैं, उनके फायदे क्या हैं, वो कैसे आप उसे फॉर्म करेंगे और कैसे दूसरों तक तो किसी भी चीज को कोई भी लाभ बना लेंगे अवेयरनेस नहीं है इसका डिसमिनेशन नहीं है इसकी पॉलिसी का ग्राउंड लेवल तक अगर पहुंचने नहीं पहुंच पाता है तो फिर उसका कोई फायदा नहीं हो पाता इसलिए इस वर्कशॉप का जो मेन एम है कि आपको अवेयर किया जाए और आप इसकी अवेयरनेस और दूसरों तक भी ये पहुँचाने का काम करेंगे Uh, मैं इस उपलक्ष में जो बीएड के हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट है सुनीता बोदिया जी उनका विशेष रूप से धन्यवाद करता हूँ कि उन्होंने आप अपने छात्र छात्राओं को यहाँ पर स्पेशली उन्होंने भेजा है और उनके डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से भी शुभता है स्टूडेंट और मैं अपने सभी सहयोगियों का अपने लॉ डिपार्टमेंट का अपनी तरफ से पुनः धन्यवाद करता हूँ
टोटल कितने हो गए अभी तक एटीन को तो मिला है अभी परसों डी आई टैग उससे पहले कितने थे ट्वेंटी सेवन संजय पांडे सर ने बोला था कि गुडन करके जो चमोली से है कोई बच्चा यहाँ पे चमोली में रमान एक सभ्यता है रमान एक नाटक होता है उसे मुखोटा होता है ना उसको भी जीआई टैग का भी रिसेंटली दिया है तेज पत्ता हो गया राइस हो गया आपका राजमा हो गया और जितने प्रोडक्ट्स हैं ऑर्गेनिक गुड्स में जितने प्रोडक्ट्स हैं इवन कंडाली होती है नेटल, नेटल थी होती है कुछ क्वेश्चन आपके लिए भी रखे गए आप भी तब तक सर्च कीजिए टोटल ट्वेंटी सेवन प्रोडक्ट जो हमारे हैं वो जीआई टैग उनको मिल चुका है और जीआई की कोई फुलफॉर्म बताएगा कौन से रजिस्ट्रेशन रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट में आता है जीआई टैग देता कौन है तो ये क्वेश्चन आप लोगों के लिए है सोसाइटी की तरफ से जो इस क्वेश्चनों के आंसर देखो जितने भी हमारे अभी तक सेमिनार में जितने भी हमारे डिग्निटीज आएंगे अपने वक्तव्य के लिए जो भी क्वेश्चन हो गया आप ध्यान से सुनिएगा क्वेश्चन आपसे लास्ट में क्वेश्चन पूछे जाएंगे सभी और जो बच्चा उसका क्वेश्चन का आंसर देखा उसके लिए सोसाइटी की तरफ से गिफ्ट हैंड कर दिए लेकर आ गए से सो so, मैं थैंक यू करना चाहूंगा सुनिका मैम का थैंक यू सो मच बॉडी सर और क्योंकि समय की पराकाश्ता है इसलिए समय में कभी लेना चाहूंगा थैंक यू
through genetic engineering, they have exploited the resources of technology, uh, resources of the countries having biological diversity. Now, we have all heard about the patent of Neel, Turmeric, Basmati, and ultimately, these are the things which related to us and we have been protecting them from generations because this is TK, traditional knowledge. We know that what is the relevance of Neel, Turmeric, and we have used, we are using in day-to-day -day life. Ultimately, the patents were revoked. Now, that is why we have this Convention on Biological Diversity of 1992. And the objective of this convention is to protect the resources, sustainable development of these resources, and ultimately, if you have to utilize the resources of these technologically, uh, sources of the countries having these uh, resources, you have to take the prior consent. And if you're taking the consent and after that you are coming up with the product, you need to share the benefit which you are having out of that product. Because we know that we are going to have a product and process that is a subject matter of uh, patent process. Now after that, what happened? Under the ages of WTO agreement, we have TRIPS. Now TRIPS, which is trade related to related aspects of intellectual property rights, which promotes what? Individual rights. Now this is a shift, there is a, you know, uh, the dispute between biological diversity convention and TRIPS agreement because once we are talking about sovereignty over natural resources and others, we are talking about promotion of what? Private rights and there should not be any barrier of trade and there should be free trade. So ultimately what happened under Article 27 of TRIPS agreement, we have mentioned that there is a criteria of patentability and ultimately if we need to protect the resources, we have to come up with a sui generis system. If they are to be protected, by virtue of sui generis system, that means we have to come up with a unique system. So unique system, and that is a unique system to protect plant varieties or genetic resources and we have in India, because we are the signatory to TRIPS agreement, because of that, sir has also mentioned protection of plant varieties and farmers' rights plan. Because it is to protect the breeders' rights who have been protecting these seeds. We know that we have hybrid variety of seeds. It is the outcome of genetic engineering. So these farmers have been preserving these seeds from generations, conserving their rights, they have to be protected. And how are we going to protect their rights? We have this. And we know that there is a one uh, seed campaign is there in the state of Uttarakhand. Dr. Vandana Shiva is also responsible for that. You can you know check on her, what are the initiatives she has taken to protect that. And on the other hand, to achieve the objective of Convention on Biological Diversity, we have Biological Diversity Act because if they have to utilize our resources, they have to take the consent because we have lot many cases of biopiracy from India because these neem, turmeric, basmati, these are all the cases of biopiracy. So if we need to come up with this because we have to protect the rights of the traditional, uh, the persons who are protecting this DK indigenous knowledge, so that is why we have certain initiative in the form of uh, these uh, legislations, or we have documented these traditional knowledge. We have also digital, traditional knowledge, digital di uh, directory is there. We can, because we know that what is the process of patent, because it has to be, you know, novice, uh, it has to be of utility in the like industrial application, and it has, it should not come uh, under section three of Patent Act of 1970, which says that there are a lot of exceptions where what cannot be considered as an invention. So in order to protect that, we have this mechanism. Because the application should go through to, whenever a person has given an application for the invention, then it has to go through that. It should not be based on prior art. How are we going to check that prior art? Or how are we going to check that our invention is not based on traditional knowledge? So traditional knowledge digital library is there. So there are a lot of initiatives. There is one Augusta Muni village in this uh, area only, in the state of Uttarakhand, wherein they have maintained community biodiversity register, wherein they have maintained the database regarding these, uh, you know, cultural heritage, we can say that, which they have preserved from long generation. So global commons, because these resources, we consider that these this is globally available to each and every nation, but not, that is not the criteria. We have sovereignty over these resources. If 
any nation has to utilize this, they have to take the consent from that particular nation and ultimately they have to share the benefit arising out of that quota. So with this note, I want to you know, conclude my uh, this discourse right now because the time is very less when we need to you know, uh, discuss these aspects. <coughs> it, it requires a lot of time to have a discussion on this particular uh, topic. So uh, the sensitization has to be there. It should be, if we are the owners of these uh, you know, traditional knowledge, we have to be very particular about our rights. That is what is important. And we should be aware about the laws wherein the mechanism is there to protect our rights. So with this, thank you. Thank you, Lakshya Foundation, for this